And now, your first alert forecast with meteorologist Kyle Dickin. Well, hey, we've got high pressure in place for us right now. That's given us a very nice day. Uh, hopefully, you had a chance to get out and enjoy it. I sure did myself. Uh, going to be a nice night, too. So, any plans tonight? Uh, you're in great shape. Things are going to change, though, once we get to tomorrow. Good bet everybody's going to get wet at some point tomorrow as we're watching a system here to our south and west. It is causing a mess down here into parts of Oklahoma and Texas where we're seeing some uh, significant severe weather form down there. A couple tornado warnings firing up, but it's this front, this boundary that's going to lift northward. How far north it goes is still a question. This time of year gets a little tricky when we talk about these severe weather setups. We'll talk about that in a second. For tonight, again, absolutely gorgeous out, so uh, get out and enjoy it. If you're going to be doing dinner outside or just enjoying the outside, temperatures will be starting to fall into the 60s as we head into the overnight hours. But here's the thing. As we uh, start heading into the overnight hours, clouds will build in, and uh, that's going to kind of suppress our temperatures a little bit and kind of hold them into the 60s. We'll wake up into the 50s and... Uh, low 60s. That right there alone is why I don't foresee tomorrow morning's activity uh, being very significant. I think we'll see some potential for maybe some pockets of severe weather, but overall that temperature being into the 50s, uh, hail would be a, probably a primary threat there, maybe some damaging winds. At, if this could happen here, if we can get enough sunshine in the afternoon, uh, up to 80 degrees possible, well then we could maybe see some thunderstorms fire off in the afternoon, giving us that potential for a round two and maybe some more severe weather than one once that moves through, it looks like besides a few isolated to scattered thunderstorm chances, our severe threat is going to be over for a while. That's some good news. Wake up into the low 60s come Monday morning and possibly heading into the upper 70s, low 80s, but could see some activity fire up in the evening hours on Monday. Nothing severe at this point. Uh, maybe just some of your garden variety storms. Tonight, a beautiful night overall. Once again, then we'll watch that round in the morning. And then again, the big question, more storms, question mark. Yeah, we got to see how this thing's going to evolve. Now, right now, I will say this. We look at exact track here, and you can see at the 5 o'clock hour, it's got a pretty good pin on where that activity is. So when we see that, that means we're, we can agree with this model here. Shows this line of activity moving up into Missouri and southwestern Iowa by 11 o'clock. Here it comes into the viewing area. This is going to be... One of those deals at that time <laughs> will probably get waking up pretty early by some thunder, lightning, and maybe a warning or two. Uh, looks like the heaviest of the activities will be more favored to the south of I-80, though. So uh, Galesburg, Monmouth, Roseville, over towards Macomb, Burlington, Mount Pleasant, uh, Wapolo. You'll probably get into some more significant storms, maybe even up to severe limits. Then we take it out of the viewing area here about 9, 10 o'clock. Does it look like we'll get some sunshine? If we can see enough sunshine, yeah, we can get some storms to fire up, uh, and that'll give us our round two potential. Not looking at a significant chance for those high-end storms, but can't rule out some damaging winds, maybe a brief tornado as well. So uh, biggest reason is the thunderstorm energy is going to be much higher to the south, and overall the wind shear just not as good as what we saw yesterday. That's why we saw those significant storms uh, and, and dangerous storms that move through. Now look at that level four down to the south here. Big time storms going to be impacting, uh, again, parts of Kansas, Oklahoma tomorrow. It, part of the area here in a level two risk, but that at level three further to the south, that is where everything is a little bit more favored. Now, regardless, again, we're going to see some storms. Everybody will get into something, uh, whether it be light rain or some heavy thunderstorms, but uh, we could pick up maybe another inch of rain widespread. In some areas maybe not picking up much of anything, but on the higher end, maybe up to an inch. Temperature wise, though, here's here's the cool thing on the next 10 days. Pretty consistent. In fact, as we get towards uh, next weekend back into the 80s, which is starting to become more seasonal for this time of year. Here's something nice to see. Climate Prediction Center on the 8 to 14 day outlook shows us probably about average for our rainfall. I haven't, haven't seen that in a while, uh, but temperatures maybe still a little bit above average. Thunderstorm chance tonight uh, mainly as we head into the morning, 58 degrees. Seven day forecast. Again, got that first alert day for tomorrow, 79 degrees with those storm chances. Again, chances, a big emphasis there. Then we dry out several dry days once we get to Tuesday and temperatures in the mid 70s. A mini car crash.